If you need me, I'll be an hour away from here. So, for, what's that, sir? It takes 15 minutes in Chicago. Everything? Everything. That's the way that Chicago is. Who are you, sir? First of all, sir, I love everything you're doing right now. Is anybody here or here or those? No. Your girlfriend was too scared to come? Is she at home right now? Yeah. Fuck yeah, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Goddamn hero is what you are, sir. So many people would have just stayed home and been like, you know what, baby, we don't have to go. No worries. You, she was like, I'm scared. And you're like, well, I'll see you later then. I'll be back in 15 minutes. And I love what you've done. I mean, you've gone with just a, a water with some ice, brilliant. And then is this a, a beer? Yes, yeah, it's a zombie dust. A zombie dust beer, amazing. And then a fucking martini? <laughs> I mean, this is a Friday, Kevin. You're living a life right now. And your girlfriend is at home, scared. <laughs> Sir, you went with just the one Stella Artois. Yeah, did you think about adding a martini onto that, sir? <laughs> Dude, have you thought about having it at the same time, sir? <laughs> you live, you're a man of rules. I like that. Do you know Kevin at all? Sir, just comedically, I may not have ever been more proud. You know, we, we really, we all worked together on that. You, me, Kevin, we all came together as a unit. Kevin kicked it off with his 15 minute thing that he said earlier, and you sat there, sir, just waiting for your time. You could have, a lot of people would have jumped in way too soon and everybody would have been like, fuck, shut up, you know what I mean? But not you, sir. Not a man who's absolutely got no chaos in his life. Not a man who drinks a martini and then a beer. A man, this guy has patience. This guy waited for the most opportune moment that he could possibly have because he knew Kevin. He knew deep down in his fucking heart and in his gut. He knew I was gonna ask if he knew you, if you guys know each other based solely on the martini and he had one in the ch ch fucking chamber ready to go. All three of us should go on the road together. <laughs> what's your name, sir? Like Ma'am, what's your name? Heather. Heather. And do you, do you know Mike? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you meet Mike? Does he want the real story? <laughs> <laughs> he has a made-up one, that's why I have to say. Well, if I'm being honest, <laughs> I'd love to hear both. Yeah, let's start with the real one. The real story yeah. is I found him on the internet. You found him? <laughs> was he on Craigslist or something? <laughs> What'd you Google? Man with great timing who also seems calm, no chaos in his life. And Craigslist was like, guess what? We got a guy for you. We found him and he's only 15 minutes away. Okay, so you found him on the internet. That's the real story. Perfect. All right, Mike, you're up. I was told that I met her at the YMCA where I was taking an adult reading class. In this scenario, was she the instructor or was she also in the reading class? I was the teacher. God damn, Mike. I, 
I watched a fucking video on Pornhub exactly like this. <laughs> it's not a long one either. It's about 15 minutes. You've, you've probably seen it. <laughs> How did you guys meet each other? Is that a line from the movie Varsity Blues? Yeah. Is that why you said it like that? Okay, because if, if... Sir, the hood's not going to help you. <laughs> now, I didn't uh, see what happened. Kevin, first of all, are you okay? You, you're brushing yourself off like you're in the front row of SeaWorld right now. And Kevin, I'm gonna assume the droplets that are on here, those are not from your martini, your water, or your zombie juice, is that right? Yeah, so that's some pretty good fucking distance, man. And you know what? Good thing your girlfriend wasn't here and hurt. Fuck, I don't blame her for being scared. She knew what was going on. I'm not going to that show. I got spit on last time. <laughs> <laughs>